guys, I will show you how to make a very simple mini bonsai for aquascape. Okay, first step, I will assemble some small stones to make the foundation pattern at the beginning. Then I put a few drops of glue. The glue that I use is cyanoacrylate adhesive. Before the glue was dripped, I usually always put fine powder between the stones so that the glue gets stronger. Okay, now I'm going to start installing the wood. I use Sangani wood. It just so happens that there are woody roots that have formed like this. So I'll just add a few more branches later to make it more ideal. I put a few drops of glue, then I continue to add stones. Okay guys, I will add a new branch from small root pieces and I connected them using glue. I added another new branch to make it look more ideal. Don't forget to add fine powder between the wood so that the glue sticks stronger. Okay, I'm going to add some logs under the bonsai tree to add to the root bush effect. Please follow the instructions in the video until the next step. If you have questions, please write in the comments. Okay guys, now I will start installing pads for moss. I dripped glue on the ends of the wood, then I attached pads for the moss. This moss pad is made of a thin carpet made from a combination of rubber and PVC. If you don't have this material, you can replace it with another material. Look for materials that you can use around you. If you have questions, please write in the comments. Okay guys, now I will start installing moss on this bonsai tree. Installing it is pretty easy, I'll show you how. The moss I use is vesicularia fairy moss, or commonly called weeping moss. I have cut this moss into a round shape as needed. Okay guys, I use cyanoacrylate adhesive type glue, then I drip glue onto the moss pad. Don't give too much glue, just a little. Then I save the moss to the pads that have been given glue. Then apply a little pressure so that the moss sticks perfectly. Repeat this method until all the moss pads are filled. Actually, there are many methods that we can use. For example, we can use a rope and then tie the moss to a tree. But most people use the glue technique because it's easier in the planting process. And for the type of glue, as far as I know, there are two types of glue that are commonly used in installing moss. Namely, the first, cyanoacrylate adhesive type glue. This glue has a liquid character and generates a little heat. But it's still safe to use, as long as the dose is not too excessive in use. Because the exposed glue is only the bottom, so the top of the moss can still grow well if cared for properly. Okay, for the second glue, this type of glue is the same, namely cyanoacrylate. It's just that this glue is in the form of a gel. This gel-shaped glue is quite good for gluing moss, because it is not as hard as the first glue in liquid form. Softer, so many people use this gel-type glue. It's just that this type of glue is more expensive than the price of the first liquid glue. So, Many people also use the first type of glue, which is in liquid form, to make it more economical for the cost of installing moss. Because the use of these two glues is almost the same, so it all depends on our choice. I myself more often use the first type of liquid glue, because so far, as far as I know, everything is fine. Moss can grow well, as long as it can meet the needs of moss to form its ecosystem in the tank. Okay guys, I hope what I explained is understandable. Sorry if the language I use is not good. Because to be honest I cannot speak English. 
The sound that I use in this video uses the application. So sorry if the language used is not quite right. Okay guys, installing the moss at the top of the tree is finished. I'll proceed to installing the moss at the bottom of the tree. I use glue to stick moss. Add a few drops of glue and then attach the moss and apply a little pressure so that the moss sticks perfectly. There are actually two techniques that we can use. The first is using glue. And secondly, simply slip the moss between the gaps in the rocks or wood. If the position supports, for example, there is a gap to insert the moss, there is no need to apply glue. Later the moss will stick itself to the stone or wood. If the growth of the moss is good, later the moss will spread and stick without the help of glue. So, keep in care for the moss that has been installed. Meet their needs by supplying adequate nutrition. For a complete explanation of how to care for moss in aquascape, there have been many articles discussing it. Please find as many references as possible on the internet. Hopefully with lots of references, we can better master the technique of how to care for and shape ecosystems in aquascape. Okay guys, the moss installation process is almost complete. After this, I'll show you the final result. Hopefully this video tutorial can be useful for you. If you like my video, please support my channel. One support from you means a lot to me. In the future, hopefully I will be more enthusiastic about making new videos and making even better videos. And I thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Okay, let's see the end result of this bonsai.